السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہیئر آئی ایم مورم سمجھو ٹیچر آف پاکستان اسٹڈیز کورس وی آر کورنگ دا کورس آف پاکستان اسٹڈیز نائنتھ حیدرآباد بورڈ ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ چیپٹر نمبر ٹو میکنگ آف پاکستان نیم آف دس چیپٹر از میکنگ آف پاکستان اٹ از فسٹ ویڈیو آف دس سیکنڈ چیپٹر Today we are going to cover the topic Revivalist Movements in the Subcontinent First of all, we are going to look at the meaning of Revivalist Movements What is a Revivalist Movement? Revivalist Movements means Movements started by religious scholars and reformers to revive Islamic teachings and values in the subcontinent are called Revivalist Movements Dear students, some Muslim religious scholars and reformers thought after the death of Emperor Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb that the power of Muslim and, and the ruler of, rulers of Muslims are not so strong now. The Islamic teachings are not being followed. Islamic culture is not being followed. The Muslims are not following the principles of Islam and uh, uh, non-Muslims are overpowering our Muslims. So seeing all these uh, Muslim scholars and uh, religious uh, reformers uh, started some movements in which they preached Muslims of subcontinent to follow the teachings of Islam. And they advised them if you will not follow Islamic principles your status will be declining so some movements were started the movements uh, that will be discussed in this chapter movement of Shah Walila, movement of Sayyid Ahmad Shahid Barelvi Farazi movement and Aligad movement we will discuss in this video the movement of Shah Walila. First of all, let's see introduction of Shah Waliullah. Shah Waliullah's name was Qutubuddin. Our Qutubuddin was a name, but due to spiritual virtues, he was called Waliullah. His name was Qutubuddin, but due to spiritual virtues, kindness, and these works, people used to call him as Waliullah are uh, friend of Allah. He was born in 1703 in a village near Delhi. His birth took place in a village which was near Delhi city of India in, 19, in 1703. His father's name was Shah Abdul Rahim was a well-known scholar. His father was a famous scholar and also religious leader. Shah Waliullah mastered the Islamic learning at the age of 15 and became the Sheikh of Madrasa when, he, when his age was 17. When he was only 15 years of age, he mastered and studied all branches of Islamic learnings and became Sheikh of Madrasa Rahimiya. The Madrasa Rahimiya was started by his father, so he became Sheikh of it. Sheikh means teacher of or a tutor of that Madrasa when he was only 17 years of age. So it was short introduction. Now we are going to look at his movements, his movement. After the death of Emperor Aurangzeb Alamgir in 17, 07. A wave of religious and moral degradation swept the Muslims of subcontinent. Dear students, the last strong emperor, Mughalia Empire of Empire, Mughalia Empire, was Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb was the last strong emperor of Mughal Empire. After his death, Muslim religiously and also morally started to decline or the influence of non-muslims 
was over Muslims after the death of Aurangzeb. Shah Walila analyzed the factors for downfall of Muslims and concluded that it was due to the increasing influence of the non-Muslims. Shah Walila studied wanted to know that what are the factors for which the Muslims are being declining. Arab Muslims are being declined and their influence is weak and the culture of non-Muslims is over Muslims. The military strength of Muslims collapsed and they were under the tribal might of Marathas and Jats. After the death of Aurangzeb, the military strength of Muslims also became very weak and they came under the power of Marathas and Jats. These were two non-Muslims, non-Muslim tribes. Shah Walila wrote letters to then Mughal Emperor. The Nizam of Hyderabad, Deccan and, other, and others. So, so he uh, he wrote letters to the Muslim rulers who was who were uh, ruling the states in subcontinent. Uh, the then Mughal Emperor, the Nizam of Hyderabad, the Deccan, and some other Muslim rulers uh, were sent letters by Shah Walila. He also wrote letter to the Afghan ruler. Besides uh, those rulers who were ruling uh, in the subcontinent, but he also wrote a letter to the Afghan, uh, ruler of Afghanistan whose name was Eman Shah Abdali to save Muslims from the atrocities of Marathas. In that letter, he, he said Eman uh, Shah Abdali to come and uh, defeat the Marathas uh, as a Marathas so that Muslims may be saved from atrocities of these Marathas. Eman Shabdali inflicted a crushing defeat on the Marathas and at the third battle of Panipat in 1961. Eman Shabdali accepted the letter of Shah Walila and he came and attacked Marathas in the third battle of 1961 from where the Marathas never recorded. In that third battle of Panipat, he totally defeated the Marathas and the power of Marathas never recorded again. Record again. Besides this, Shah Waliullah also translated the Holy Quran into Persian language. He translated into Persian language so that common people may understand it easily and follow the principles of Islam. Later his sons is translated the Holy Quran into Urdu. These were the two languages of subcontinent common languages. First of all he himself is tra translated Holy Quran into Persian language that was common at that time. After that his son sons also translated this into an other common language that was Urdu or that is a national language of Pakistan now. He also wrote books on Hadith, Islamic jurisprudence and Tafsir. Besides this, he worked on Hadith, Islamic laws and Tafsir. The most popular among these is his famous work Hujatullah ul Baliga which gives the message that Islam is the universal religion. He wrote so many books, but uh, famous one of them was Jatullah Al-Baliga, which gives the message that Islam is the religion of universe, or it is a universal religion which guarantees progress and prosperity for the whole of mankind, which gives the progress, prosperity and peace for all human beings. Shah Walila passed away in August 1962. He was died or passed away in 1962. After that, his son 
Shah Abdul Aziz continued his mission. His mission was continued by his son Shah Abdul Aziz at Madrasa Rahimiyah in Delhi, which became very famous. So, because of this uh, scholar, religious leader, Shah Walula movement was started. He guided not only Muslims, when uh, the, the atrocities of non-Muslims was not possible, but at that time he wrote letters. So, Muslim Muslim leaders like uh, Man Shah Abdali came from Afghanistan and attacked these Marathas. As, uh, so uh, they they never record again dear students in this video we discussed the movement of Shah Walibla and next video we will discuss movement of Sayyid Ahmad Shahid Brelvi Khuda Hafiz